Have you been to the new Chinese restaurant, Miss Park? Are you talking about the one on Main Street, Jaden? Yes, that's the one. They opened about two weeks ago, right? I think so. I went there last Friday with my friends. How was the food? It was great. We ordered many different dishes. I really liked the fried vegetables. Could you recommend a dish for me? I'm going there for dinner tonight with my family. Do you prefer seafood or meat? I prefer seafood. Then you should try their fried fish. You'll love it. One. Do you have anything for dessert, Aunt May? Yes, Johnny. Do you prefer pie or cake? I prefer cake. Okay. I have some chocolate cake. I'll get you some. Two. I'm thinking of joining a sports club. Do you prefer indoor or outdoor sports? I prefer indoor sports. I was in the badminton club last year. Why don't you join the table tennis club then? That's a good idea. Thank you. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for an Italian cookbook. Could you recommend one? Well, have you ever cooked Italian food? No, I haven't. But I want to try. I really like spaghetti. Then how about this Italian cookbook for beginners? It's on sale now. Good. Thank you. I'll take it. Two. I haven't seen a movie recently. Could you recommend a good one? Why don't you see Iron Woman two? It's a big hit. Well, I don't like action movies. Can you recommend any good comedies? Then how about Funny Families? That sounds good. A bite of Korean history. How did Tung Pyeong Che and Shin Solo get their names? Why does Song Pyeon look like a half moon? There are many interesting stories about our traditional food. Let's dive into the fun history of our food. Tang Pyeongche. One day, King Yongjo was having dinner with his officials and offered them something special. It was a dish with four colorful ingredients. Each ingredient symbolized a different political party. Yongjo wanted to say that the four parties should work in harmony, like this dish. This dish was called Tangpyeongche. The name came from Yongjo's policy, Tangpyeongche. Shin Solo. In the time of King Yonsan. There was a scholar who was famous for his honesty. When the king did something wrong, the scholar was never afraid of telling him so. However, the king never listened to him. The scholar was so disappointed that he went to live on a mountain. While he lived there by himself, he mainly ate vegetables. He made a special pot to cook many different vegetables together. People called this pot and the food in it shinsolo. That is because the scholar lived like a shinson, an imaginary person who lives alone in nature. Songpyeon. It was the time of the last king of Baekje. One day, the king and his servants found a strange turtle. Something was written on its back. It said, "Baekje is like a full moon, but Shilla is like a half moon." The king asked a fortune teller, "What does this mean?" 
The fortune teller answered, A full moon will soon become smaller. On the other hand, a half moon will grow bigger and become a full moon. The king became worried about his kingdom. However, people of Shilla were very happy to learn this and made rice cakes in the shape of a half moon. Since then, people have enjoyed these half moon shaped rice cakes, Songpyeon.